You cannot go on without the turtle. No. It was Hello and howdy. My name is Alyssa Nichol and it has been a few weeks. This is yet another wonderful episode of Getting Rid of the Junior. And I have been away traveling. Uh, I did some conferences in Kansas City, Silicon Valley, and one here in Florida. And then the latest one in Tennessee at November, which here is a clip from. Why do C Sharp and Java developers keep breaking their keyboards? Because they use strongly typed languages. I know, right? Thank you. God, you guys are awesome. It's so good to be around nerds, but like not just nerds, but like the right kind of nerd. <laughs> my name is Alyssa. Um, innovating is not about technology, but psychology is my talk today. So if that's not what you were hoping to see, you can sneak out right now. <laughs> just like, but I'm really, I am so excited to be here, you guys. This is my last conference of this season, and it has been a, a doozy. Oh, man. I, uh, I actually was supposed to be here for two nights, but I got stranded in D.C. So <laughs> why I was there, I just was like, hey, what? it was really late, really late, freezing, Arctic. And I was like, why not? So I, you know, I Ubered over to a couple of monuments, like the Lincoln one and, and the, the big, tall, pointy one. Anyone? Thank you. Yes. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. But this is, has been quite the adventure getting to you guys, but it has been well worth it. So I'm really excited to share some ideas with you. I've only been in the industry for four years. Don't be intimidated. I know that's a long time. But in those four years, I've learned some things that I want to share, including this idea by Linda Holmes. It is the recognition that well-read is not a destination. There's nowhere to get to, and if there was somewhere to get to, you would need a thousand years to even think about getting there. So yes, it was a blast. And I did get stranded in DC. <laughs> Here's a picture of me and this guy. Yeah, we were hanging out a little bit while I was stranded there for one night. Um, so yeah, that is the end of my conference season. Should hopefully get back to a more normal schedule now. Um, not doing the traveling home for Thanksgiving or Christmas. So <laughs> I know, super sad, but also uh, yay for more work time. I, that's horrible, right? I know. Uh, another like exciting announcement, which is actually the first conference that I was invited to speak at. Here is the conference, NG Cruise. It's May 22nd. And if we scroll, 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 we can find, ooh, -hoo, that's me with my little scuba gear. Oh yeah, so, so cute. Um, so yeah, I am speaking at NG Cruise this upcoming <laughs> so excited um, on animations and while I was actually in Silicon Valley I did get to talk to Matthias from the Angular team a little bit about some secret upcoming business <laughs> so yes I will be including that in my animations talk he is he is the animations dude from Angular in case you've never heard of him yes Last night, I actually joined in on another exciting tidbit, which you guys will be able to listen to, I think, next week, which is Adventures in Angular. You have to say it with that voice, otherwise it's not legit. <laughs> um, I was invited to be a panelist on the Adventures in Angular podcast. Yeah, right? Like, what? Super Super, super pumped. Uh, had a lot of fun hanging out with some really cool dudes. So yeah, that should be up next week. And I will be a regular panelist now on Adventures in Angular. So if you guys actually do have any, um, I don't know, questions, what? <laughs> uh, quandaries, you know, things that you really just, they keep you up at night about Angular. Uh, shout out to your girl. And I'll see what I can do about getting the right guest on the show so that we can answer them. My speaking career has really taken off, and I'm really happy with it. Um, over the last five months, it's just blown up from getting small gigs to bigger and bigger, and it's just exactly what I imagined it to be and what I wanted um, from leaving, you know, my teaching job at Code School to becoming a developer, right? Like, and then creating this entire series of getting rid of the junior. Um, however. As much as that side has taken off and blown up and really is starting to grow into what I want it to be, the other side, the development side, um, 
it's significantly better than whenever I was only building small apps to teach. Like, oh my goodness, I can't even tell you how different, like, building something that's going to be shipped to production actually is. Um, building on something that has been around for years and that has been touched by tons of different developers, right? Like, that's grown into this thing, this almost, like, sentient thing that you have to, like touch but not break right like it's so different than getting you know a green field and building from there so I I am so grateful for the things I have learned but one of the main struggles I'm having right now is um, how painfully slow it feels um, and I know that I am an overachiever and that I um, I expect way too much out of not only myself but out of others I, I know this is a fault of mine um, I mean it's a good thing you know, in a way, because uh, it's got me where I am. But it's also a bad thing because um, I'm always, I don't know if you guys have seen Moana, uh, the new Disney movie, you know, like she's always called to the sea. And then there's this like one part in a song where she's like, oh my gosh, it's not the call to the sea, but it's a call inside me. And like, it is always growing and always like, like rising and falling like the tide. And like, that is I would like had a like totally girl breakdown moment. I was like, oh my gosh, yes, uh, Disney. So that's really true to this though, because I am never satisfied. Um, and so I don't know if my judgment of me not learning fast enough in dev is accurate or if it's actually like that beast inside me that's like, go faster, do better. So <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Um, so question for you guys. Uh, I really like this idea to end on a question, especially because I have it and I'm struggling. So did it take this long for you? Um, one of my friends was saying, um, that it takes years and like he meant it from the bottom of his heart, but he's like, Alyssa, it's going to take you years to get to where you want to be in development. And, uh, that's very hard, uh, to hear because, um, I want it now. <laughs> I want to, you know, uh, it's very, it's very hard to hear that my passion and my like go get itness and the hard work that I throw at something isn't enough and that you just need time. Um, and so I'd really love to know from your, your experiences, um, if you guys have had the same ones or if they've been totally different, um, because I don't want it to take years. Um, and just to give a little bit more definition to what it is, uh, or what being there is as a developer and, you know, Getting rid of the junior to me is to not get stuck on simple logic problems, um, like just to be able to simply just see like we need A, B, and C and to write the code and it be clean and good code and just write it out. It works and I don't get stuck on any, um, you know, sometimes syntax or semantics, sometimes um, other things like, wow, like, like I'll sit down with one of the guys that I work with and, and he'll walk me through my code. Um, cause I'll get stuck and I'll just be like, dude, I need help. And he'll, he'll walk me through my code and he'll be like, okay, so this makes sense. And then you want this to talk to that, but do you see where the breakdown is here and how this isn't actually logical? And then I'm like, Oh crap. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I want to be able to see those things on my own. I want to be able to stand on my own two feet. And so I don't, I don't know. How long, how long did that take you guys to get there? Are you even there yet? Um, I don't believe this is imposter syndrome. I believe there is, I believe we all have the ability to accurately judge our strengths and our weaknesses. I am killer when I get on stage. I am. It's easy. It comes naturally. Um, when I sit down to do logic, it does not come naturally. Uh, there are times when I will sit back I'll take a breath and, uh, you know, like get a snack, go for a walk, whatever. I'll come back to the problem and then it'll be there. The answer somehow is just in my head and I can just type it out and it's there. Um, but not consistently and not to where I'm comfortable yet. So I definitely am still a junior and ew. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I was, I was hoping I'd be past this by now and maybe that's silly of me. So let me know what you guys think. And I hope you're all having a wonderful Wednesday. Um, happy, happy late Turkey Day. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. I have journeyed farther. I am everything I've learned and more. Still it comes.